As an entertainer, I've had the opportunity to see a great deal of this country and meet a lot of people along the way. One common theme I've come across are the hardships people face when job opportunities are scarce or perhaps just out of reach. Wanting to work, support a family, and make meaningful contributions to the community are all noble and desirable aspirations. I'm thrilled to be able to share a few stories of those who have found and received support from their community and been able to achieve success in finding employment. Being an immigrant to this country can be very challenging, especially when the economy forces you to find another career. This is a story of how one landed immigrant went from being laid off to launching his own business, and in turn, helping others just like him in his community. Hello, my name is Arjun Batra, and I'm the president and CEO of Dune Private Secondary School. I came to Canada in 2005 as a landed immigrant with my family. And when I came here, I went to Georgian College and studied for mechanical engineering, automotive manufacturing. And the role I played with Arjun was way back, I think, in the early 2000s. Arjun transferred to Georgian College from our campus in India. He was studying mechanical engineering. He completed his first year um, at the CIS campus. Coming to Barrie was uh, definitely a challenge, I would say, from, from India because India is still a warm place uh, compared to what Barrie has to offer. Barrie is a lot of snow and that is something which I didn't expect a lot. So it was a little challenge in adjusting the weather, I would say. Uh, but beyond that, uh, one of the things which was most challenging was the city I'm coming from, which is Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh, India. We get lots of traffic, lots of traffic there. Um, there are lots of honks um, at night, at day, any time of the day, you know, you'll be able to listen and even at night time. Coming to Barrie, which is super, super quiet, super quiet and super calm uh, city. Um, I think the first few weeks or months, I would say, it took me a while to just get used to adjust in that um, in that lifestyle. Origin faced a few typical challenges that an international student would face uh, when coming to Canada, but he definitely carried a positive attitude and was a go-getter and didn't let any of the challenges or hurdles give him major problems. He met with me on various occasions, became very involved with his academic area, made sure that he was practicing his, his English language skills and working on his accent and that type of thing. I did struggle in communicating um, with, the, with, with the English accent and uh, with, with the flow of English, the way it's supposed to be in communicating. I was a good student. I scored 100% in math and enjoyed uh, calculus at, at, at the level of uh, college. And then I did lots of uh, on-campus uh, jobs um, in, in tutoring. After I graduated in 2007, um, I was working for Magna International for three months. But in 2000, early 2008, there was a recession um, which hit uh, Canada and uh, my job was taken. I uh, couldn't find anything to support myself or my family. So I started working at Swiss Chalet um, as a part-time and um, you know, paying my bills. Some of the biggest challenges that immigrants in Simcoe County face is finding employment that matches their uh, skills and education levels and work experience that they might have obtained in another country. For the most part, um, many immigrants are underutilized from a talent management perspective and um, that probably is the biggest challenge that immigrants face. One day working, cutting chickens uh, at Swiss Chalet, uh, really frustrated with life uh, that you know um, did so well in my in graduate uh, education and with so many awards in my portfolio. I looked into myself, I talked to myself and I said hey you know what I have to look into the skill which I have uh, rather than you know the certificates and diplomas and so degrees what what will be adding because they won't be giving me any employment in this recession. So the best skill I had at that point was uh, tutoring. I said to myself okay well maybe I can start a tutoring academy and start a small business which can um, you know pay my bills initially and then grow over time now 
me along with the like-minded people in the community, we got together. We wanted to start something for our community in Barrie. Um, and I think uh, a challenge like this can never be achieved by a single individual. It was always a teamwork. Uh, we, a lot of us uh, got together in the community and wanted to start the Cricket League uh, going and uh, we called that Barry Cricket League. Similar story I would say was for, uh, for Diwali as well when we started Diwali in Barry because uh, there was nothing like this going on in the South Asian community over there. We started an association called South Asian Association of Simcoe County rather than each of us driving down to Toronto we have something now going in the city. I was very fortunate uh, that I was recognized by um, Local Immigration Partnership for Community Champion Award, uh, which was given in 2013, uh, for my involvement in the Barry Cricket League and the South Asian Association of Simcoe County, along with my entrepreneurship um, with uh, running a private school. So they, they recognized me with the Community Champion Award, but uh, I, I guess that was a starting. At the starting of me being able to connect with more uh, people uh, with uh, different ethnic backgrounds. The Local Immigration Partnership in Simcoe County was established in 2011. We launched a community settlement strategy in 2012 and that document is designed to guide the community with rec a series of recommendations on how better improve outcomes for immigrants. There's four themes to that, one of readiness, one of opportunity, one of celebrate, and one of inspire. And Arjun uh, really has done a lot in a number of different of those areas, from readiness, from originally establishing an English language program, opportunity from his own self-employment um, initiatives, celebrate and uh, bringing Diwali to Simcoe County, and inspire, he's truly a leader. If we know local immigrants, um, you know, who are, who are coming to Simcoe County, um, and they want to look for some some help in specific area in preparing resumes in preparing um, different um, activities which which is going on um, in in the area then lip is able to help them connect them with the right resources which are available in the community hi Archie, good to I see you again, again. <laughs> there's a lot of fears that you know that students come with when they first arrive so I think when they see other students who've been successful um, it just gives them a little bit of glimmer of hope and some confidence so that they can do something hopefully quite similar. Hi Arjun. Hi Sandra. Good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you? Good. Uh, without my mother's help I think it wouldn't be a possibility even. So I think I'm very blessed to have a good family who has always supported me um, on that. And I'm really proud of him. The way he's working, making contacts, and um, now the students come and tell me, are you Arjun's mom? Hey, stop. They don't say, uh, Arjun, that are you her son? No. They will say, are you Arjun's mom? I feel proud. So that is what I think the, as a parent uh, I would like to hear. And uh, that's good. What a truly inspiring story. And this is just one example of how your community can help job seekers get the support and resources they need to find meaningful work. If you or someone you know is seeking employment and could use a little direction, well there are community organizations here to help you find success. Thank you for watching. This program has been brought to you by the Simcoe Muskoka Workforce Development Board, connecting you with resources in your community to help you find employment. For more information on how to find assistance in your community, visit our website.